Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What did you do, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I gotta tell you guys, I, we, okay, there's no surprise at how in love I am with Anthem. So this is, I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible. I promise you guys, this is me trying to come from the most unbiased point that I possibly can to bring content to you guys. First things first though, if you guys are new to the channel, if you guys are new to the video, welcome to the channel. Aside from that, I hope you enjoy the video. But getting back into it, these YouTubers, pissing me off like there are so many youtubers out here that just want to jump into a bandwagon to get all of their people and they don't realize you have such a big influence as a youtuber now it doesn't seem like anything but it, no matter what your community is whether it be 10 people whether it be 50 people whether it be 5 million people you have the biggest influence because a good majority of your viewers are going to be seeing that and they're going to be listening to you you know why because they clicked on your channel for a reason because you are somebody that they actually enjoy watching somebody that they would listen to somebody that they like to hear reviews from especially somebody like angry joe show now this isn't me taking shots but people like to jump into the bandwagon of this and they're actually getting a lot of misinformation and giving out a lot of misinformation and it's getting out of control now yes microtransactions are a thing there are pretty big placeholder mind you i said placeholder right there numbers like twenty dollars that's about twenty dollars to get an item inside the item shop i'm going to try my hardest to not upload this video until i can find uh, the PNG or the, the they're not even the PNG but the picture for that so I can post this for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about basically uh, if you guys are familiar with Fortnite you guys know how the item shot set up it's basically like that but with the idea that you can actually earn in-game currency now if anybody's ever played an RPG before it's kind of a grind to get in-game currency but it's something that happens but that's part of the grind of playing role-playing games no big deal no big deal now the big thing that I want to jump into before we even talk about how they're kind of just jumping on this bandwagon, everybody is predetermined to try to make sure that EA is not successful with this game. They have thoroughly pissed off the gaming community and they don't want to see them winning. I saw I it's got to be what it is. You if it's not that, then you tell me what it is cuz it's got to be that. That's what I think. But anyways, first things first, guys. They told us that we are getting post-launch DLC without any type of payments. Like, we don't have to pay for it. All we have to do is buy the... Specifically, they said, buy our game. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Post-launch content, we got you. Content is going to be free. Content's going to be free. And you're out here complaining over $20 that you don't have to spend. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I... I like to shiny new stuff. I'm a gamer. I love shiny new stuff. If it's if it's a skin, I want it. If it's so, I'm not gonna be the first person to sit here and tell you, oh hey, this shouldn't be like that. But it's not necessary. I can't tell you how many RPGs I played in the past. I played all a bunch of Destiny. I, I, I use Destiny as one of the games that I compare this to a lot because I see a lot of it there. I, I played all almost uh, all of Destiny without spending microtransactions, mi microtransactions at Eververse. So, it's possible. I play a lot of RPGs. I consistently don't put money into those things because I don't want them because my character usually looks cool enough as it is. Or, some of the stuff you get from doing challenges is just as cool as it is. But... You don't need those types of items so why are we complaining about it like but let alone that forget that forget put, put all that to the side because because i get it i get it the devs themselves said that those are placeholder prices and every youtuber that is jumping in this bandwagon is acting like it's set like it's going it's just a set situation and you're like nobody focuses on the fact that this is something that you can actually like it says it right there next to the image that you can pay for this item with gold so there is I, I get it like I said I like those outfits but that means that if I like those outfits I'm gonna put in the time and the effort to grow and and to gain gold and things like that in order to get that 
we don't know what the game's economy is. We don't know how it's going to be. And everybody is taking from what we've seen from a leak, a leak, a leak. And telling me and, and saying it, it's like it's set in stone. Like it's going to be that way for the entirety of the game. Okay, I get it. You want to provide your influence. You want to provide your input, this, that, and the other. At least let the game release, man. That's all I'm asking. I'm asking for this game to get a fair shake of the leg. You know what I'm saying? I'm asking for YouTubers to stop being so critical on games before they even drop so we actually can experience the games and see if something that we like or if it's a predetermined like hatred that comes from the fo your following of that YouTuber. Because I don't know how many times I've seen it where a YouTuber will say something and then everybody else is like, oh, well, fuck it. And then their reasoning is, oh, hey, it's, you know, I mean, so-and-so said it was shit, so fuck it. So that's that's where I'm at, guys. I, I like I said, this is trying me coming from a point of unbiased. I am just tired of seeing games. And by the way, I, I get it. It's electronic arts. They have not done well over the last couple of years. They just haven't. I think the last good release that I've seen from EA was probably Battlefield 1, and that's arguable. That's arguable, because I did not like that game. But as of, if we're talking about sales, I'll give it to them. I'll give it to them. And I'm not even gonna say I didn't like it. I liked it for when I played it, I just didn't like it overall. But we're not talking about all that. We're talking about a new venture. We're talking about a new frontier. Um, we're talking about a game that pushes the limits of creation and pushes the limits of like just unique. The flight mechanics alone, the fact that you can transition from general flat ground movement mechanics to flight mechanics in, the, in, in, in seconds. And it, it's something that all of them can do. Everything, every character, everything that you play with feels unique. And the biggest thing that they did was say, well, you know, we're giving away all this content for free you know and uh you know eh eh if you guys could just you know throw us a bone here but they even they went back on that guys and they said hey you know this isn't even set in stone like you know, guys, we we hear you. Uh, well, like, we we weren't even set on these prices. They were kind of just something that we put up there. You know, we just we we're just kind of, you know, testing the waters a bit. But everybody's flipping out like it's the worst game of the year, and it hasn't even gotten a fair shake of the leg. Yeah, it had a bad weekend. Yeah, it had it, it had a bad opening weekend. Yes, yes, from a six month old demo. Just saying. But yes, yes, the servers weren't the greatest. Yes. Yes. Okay. All I'm saying is, guys, we need to start giving games a chance because without that, we don't know what we actually will have fun in. I can't tell you guys how many times I play games that I thought I wouldn't have fun in and then all of a sudden have, are having a ball in. So, I hope that you guys will give me leave me a comment down below telling me what you guys think of the situation think you think of the controversy if you guys think this is a big thing if you guys are gonna drop like two hundred dollars on <laughs> anthem cosmetics or not but uh if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell my next giveaway will be up shortly guys so make sure you guys stay tuned for that i'll make sure you guys understand that or, or get it get you know information on that as soon as i come up with what i want to do yet because i'm thinking about doing something a little bit different but like i said my next giveaway will be up shortly um yeah so uh, with that being said guys i think i'm out of here peace